Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tide, and this is the first video of 2023 and quite honestly I've been thinking about making this video for a while now and it's kind of just how do I want to make the video? I feel like, you know, the title kind of lends itself to a little bit of mockery because we've said this is Halo's year for, for a while now and at what point does it just become, you know, it's just not gonna happen. I've seen a lot of people tweeting recently about how low the custom game browser player population is and how they expected more people to come, but if you've been watching the channel, then you would have known that I did not expect a huge increase in the population with Forge and the custom games browser as of right now. There's not a huge marketing push to get people back in the game, and there wasn't anything crazy that, you know, there weren't playlists or rewards or anything like that or events that were really gonna make people re-download the game. Again, I think that's season three. But before we get any further into the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support in the past year. This year, I would love to hit 15,000 total subs, and I know 96% of you watching the video right now aren't subscribed. YouTube tells me this. So what I want you to do, if you like Halo and you're looking for a top five Halo YouTuber, go ahead and throw a sub my way and help me hit the goal of 15k. I also want you to go to the comments right now and leave me your expectations and your predictions for Halo in 2023. And at the end of the year of 2023, you know, like December, I'll come back, read the comments, and we'll see, you know, who was the closest, who was the farthest off and stuff, and see how our, our takes aged. Anyways, let's get back into the video. So, the biggest reason I think that this is, you know, quote-unquote, Halo's year is quite honestly Tatanka. There has been some speculation that Tatanka is not coming out this year, that there's going to be an engine swap, blah, 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 blah. I do not think this is the case. I'm going to go ahead and say on the record, I am 94% sure that Tatanka will release this year. It will be shown at the Xbox Awards thing, blah, live stream, not awards, but like their little game show thing that they're going to do instead of going to E3. This is all speculation. I do not have direct confirmation, but just putting some things together and seeing, uh, you know, what some other people are saying. I think these are pretty safe assumptions. Now, it seems like we're at a crossroads, really, with the whole BR trend and now these, um, extraction shooters you know every game was uh incorporating a br they were trying to do that and then now it seems like every game is kind of shifting its focus to the extraction shooter genre and i'm interested to see where halo goes with tatanka because it already kind of sounded like it had pv pve attributes and pve is a little bit of an extraction shooter so quite honestly i am just I'm so excited to see what the actual game mode is going to look like, and hopefully it does not stink. We also have HCS Season 2 coming up, and I feel as though, as always, it will have a pretty decent viewer base. It always seems like the community comes together for those big HCS events, and obviously having Twitch drops does not hurt. We also got confirmation that Season 2 for the Halo TV series was greenlit. There's not an actual release date. I was under the impression that it was going to come out in 2023. We will see what happens. And then obviously we have all the new seasonality starting with season three in March and only having three month seasons, a new narrative structure. Hopefully we get better stories told the AI campaign stuff coming to forge. I think Halo could have a decent year. It definitely needs to go on the upswing. Feels like a lot of games are really falling over themselves right now. And while I do personally believe that they're just not going to forget about Infinite, I do see a lot of other games kind of just like Battlefield 2042. I feel like EA has kind of a reputation for releasing poop games, fixing those poop games, and as soon as they are acceptable, they move on to a new one. I don't know what's going to happen with Call of Duty. I think this is the, uh, the two-year Call of Duty, so we'll see what happens with that. But really, I feel like everybody is just looking for a good FPS experience. I really feel like I've been playing I've been playing a little bit of Destiny 2. I've been playing a lot of the PvE, doing the raids and dungeons and stuff. Uh, and then kind of going into PvP for like two games before I'm like, God, why is this so bad? And I feel like with the Wit- or yeah, no, with Lightfall coming out, that is probably going to get even worse with the new super stuff. And I, I just- I feel like more and more people are leaving the PvP side of Destiny 2 and trying to find something that clicks with them. And I've seen a, a bit more people coming over to Halo. 
Now, personally, I'm trying to just not get burnt out of Halo. I'm not forcing myself to play because, like, when Season 3 rolls around and there's new content and whatnot, that's when I want to, you know, give more of my time to the game. Now, obviously, it's January 2nd. There's not a lot, not a lot of things announced just yet in terms of Halo, but I'm pretty sure that they're getting their ducks in a row and getting prepared to start releasing more information. If they hope to have a huge player base increase, they're going to have to really push the marketing of the game. They're going to have to bring something to the table that is of high quality. And with Certain Affinity working on the Tatanka game mode, I think that that's really the, not the last chance. I, I always feel like you can kind of come back from anything, but man, it's, it's getting close to the end. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.